Good day everyone, we're going to tackle about cubism. Condition and content, period emerge. Cubism was a truly revolutionary style of modern art developed by Pablo Picasso and George Braque. It was the first style of abstract art which evolved at the beginning of the 20th century in response to the world that was changing with unprecedented speed. Cubism was at an attempt by artists to revitalize the tired tradition of Western art which they believe had run their course. Cubism rejected the idea of using perspective to create art as seen in nature. It was geometric and two-dimensional. Objects were broken apart and the piece could be viewed from all sides. So there are three stages of Cubism. First one is the early Cubism. Second is the analytic cubism, and the last one is the synthetic cubism. So the first stage is the early cubism. So in this stage, it, it is the depiction, the whole structure of the object and its position in space, combining different viewpoints. So in second um, stage, it is the analytic cubism. It is breaking down of the subject and the space around it into angular planes or facets that record different viewpoints and informations. No interest in color or texture. So in analytic cubism, it is characterized by the use of monochromatic color schemes and flat fragmented forms. So in the third stage, is a, it is the synthetic cubism. So um, it is the collage of interlock fragments of newspaper, wallpaper, and labels with fragments of painting, drawing, and writing, color and reduced textures and patterns. In synthetic cubism, color and decoration played a greater role, and the technique of collage was introduced. So cubist painting also creates the following. Ambiguous sense of space through geometric shape that flatten and simplify form forms the overlap and penetrate one another, and lastly, spatial planes that are broken into fragments. So art historians generally considered cubism to have been the most influential art movement of the first half of the 20th century. And the exact date of cubism's first appearance in art has been the subject of heated debate among the art historians. Proponents Cezanne and primitive art were of the great in importance in the genesis of Cubism. Picasso and Braque executed a series of landscapes in 1908. They were very close to Cezanne both in their color schemes and in their drastic simplification of form into geometric shape. In Braque's house at El Estec and the Picasso's house in the hill at Horta de Ebro, houses ha have three-dimensional cubic quality. It was upon seeing these paintings that French art critic Louis Vassal coined the term Notable artists and artworks of Cubism. The first artist is Pablo Picasso, who is the most dominant and influential artist of the first half of the 20th century. He has a Cubism artwork entitled A Girl with a Mandolin. He painted in the style of analytic Cubism, known for its fragmented subjects, simultaneous viewpoints, and restricted color palettes. So in here, the symbolic representation of a mandolin has many metaphors associated with creation, including the ability to produce music and its shape having of echoes of a woman's womb. The second artwork is entitled as Girl in the Mirror by Pablo Picasso. The subject Girl in the Mirror is Picasso's once lover and muse, Marie Therese Walter. A various interpretations and themes have been used to describe the meanings of the work, like dark versus light and nude versus old age, among others. The painting can now be found at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. The third one is entitled Glass of Beer and Playing Cards is one of the most popular paintings by the Spanish Cubist artist Juan Gris. It organized according to a dominating pattern of vertical strips. The painting can be viewed at the Columbus Museum of Art in Ohio. Fourthly, Harlequin with Guitar is a famous oil painting originally by Spanish artist Juan Gris in 1919 with the style of Cubism. The painting now is collected by Musée National Art Modern de Paris. This kind of abstract oil paintings is very common in visual art. The next one is entitled Man with a Guitar. It is one of the best known paintings by the French artist Georges Braque. It was created in 1912 and is oil on canvas. This was a deliberate attempt to subvert tradition and remove the mystique of the artist. 
It is painted in a style that is called analytic cubism. In works created in this style, he and Pablo Picasso experimented with different types of representation to challenge the orthodoxy of illusionistic space in painting. Marcel Duchamp was a painter, a sculptor, chess player, and a writer. He was one of the most influential modernist artists. His ideas and use of media opened the way for much contemporary art. Nude Descending as Staircase No. 2 is a painting produced by Duchamp in 1912. The work is widely regarded as a modernistic classic and has become one of the most famous of its time. In its first presentation at the Parisian Salon des Independents, it was rejected by the Cubist and caused a huge stir during its exhibition at the 1913 Armory Show in New York. The work is now found in permanent exhibition at the Louis and Walter Arensberg collection of the Philadelphia Museum of Art in Philadelphia. Albert Glazes was a French painter and writer, known for his Cubist paintings and his lifelong commitment to promoting the Cubist movement. An oil painting from 1910 called La Femme aux Plox often known as woman with flocks or woman with flowers. This painting stands as a revolutionary moment in Glaze's art. A seated woman stage stares down intently reading and is flanked by two vases of flowers. Fernand Leger is considered one of the forefathers of pop art, but Leger first became known for the unique variation of cubism he created, dubbed cubism for its use of cylindrical forms. The City in French is a 1919 painting by Fernand Leger. In the city, Leger successfully captured the disjointed rhythms of contemporary urban space and the extensive vista of its skyscrapers, bridges, and scaffolding. Our interpretation is that, in contrast to displaying objects as our vision has warped them, monochromatic color removes the effects of lighting to represent objects as we know them to be in their actual form. Because of this, cubism was frequently viewed as a conceptual art form as opposed to a perceptual one. Instead of portraying objects from a single point of view, at a single point of time, and in a single type of light, Cubist paintings reflected the composite con concept of objects that we have in our minds. We hope you learned something from our report on Cubism. Thank you for listening.